this looks like a, a legit civil rights complaint. Mm -hmm. So he goes, oh my God, this is horrible. So I said, well, I said, I just wanted to make you aware of it. And I kind of forgot about it because usually the civil rights cases never go anywhere. The DOJ looks at it and go, oh, you know, we're not going to take it. At least back then it was the case. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden I get a call. It's like, hey, have you heard that this guy is going to be charged? I said, oh, that's great. And all of a sudden I go, uh-oh, I guess I shouldn't have said that. And they're going, are, are you aware of this? I go, yeah, I referred it back when I was SAC Philly to the SAC out here. I said, this was one of the most egregious cases I've ever seen of police brutality. And I said, and, and I'm usually favorable on the police side. I understand sometimes you make an arrest. You have to do anything you can to arrest the guy. But afterwards, you have to make sure he has the medical attention if he got hurt or something on that. But this was bad. Mm -hmm. They're going, yeah, but 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 he he could go to jail for this. I go, well, do you think that he should? He goes, no, that guy was really mouthy. And I go, wow. I said, this is going to be a harder job than I thought. 